Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Dignified2K. We're back with another video. Guys, today we are returning with the Kobe Bryant build. Guys, before we start, I want to give a huge shout out to you guys. I uploaded a video, you guys know, the tragedy that happened. I uploaded this video about two months ago, and it's crazy. I just uploaded it, obviously didn't monetize anything like that. I just uploaded it due to respect. Didn't really care if it blew up or whatever, and it's insane, guys. This is my most viewed video now. I'm just glad we could all come together in a time like that, collect some good memories, you know, honor Kobe Bryant the way we were able to. And today, I am bringing back the Kobe Bryant build. Like I said, guys, I wanted to do this video a very long time ago. We're going to be using every single one of Kobe Bryant's animations. Now, you guys know how versatile Kobe Bryant's game actually is, so we are here on our scoring machine build. 16 finishing, 21 shooting, 13 playmaking, three defensive badges. We'll start with the defensive badges. I got gold clamps. You guys know Kobe in his prime was an amazing defender, great on-ball defender, so we had to put clamps on that. Playmaking, we got handles for days. This is the ones that I've been using on the twos. I will show you guys when I play on the threes, the badges that I do use. I probably wouldn't use post spin technician, but these are the ones that I'm using on the twos to kind of showcase the post moves that Kobe really had. And this is going to be my shooting badges that I actually did keep the same for the threes. Of course, volume shooter because Kobe Bryant did put up a lot of shots. Hot zone hunter, range extender, quick draw, and Zed Eye. And then for the finishing badges, like I said, this is for the twos. Now, I wanted to showcase a little bit more of the post moves. So I got back down punisher, drop stepper, slithery, consistent, and contact finisher. For you guys that haven't seen this build, at the top left, you guys can see it says Kobe Bryant. I literally made this build in the beginning of the year for my Kobe Bryant, like my whole build. This is the build at 98. I usually have it at 99, so just imagine this one better everywhere around. So it's a pretty well-rounded build, like I said. Instead of having that BP build that a lot of people talk about, I didn't upgrade the pass accuracy and I decided to upgrade the post move so I could be a little bit more dominant in the post. I usually have an 89, 90 strength, so I'm able to bully a lot of those smaller guards that you'll see on the court. But guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you all the moves that we actually are going to be end up using. I use his jump shot, his dribble moves, his post moves, everything Kobe Bryant, his dunk packages, his layups. Like I said, I'll show you guys on the screen right here, man. If you're new to the channel, go ahead, drop a like. We upload a ton of NBA, you know, 2K videos, anything that's interesting. So comment down below if there's any other NBA players you guys would like to see. Uh, if you have a suggestion, I would go ahead and just recommend. I probably already did it, to be honest with you. A lot of the kind of more famous ones. Just search up Dignified 2K and then search up the NBA player right after. But guys, without further ado, we're going to hop into some gameplays. We're going to get you some threes action. We got a couple twos games. So hopefully you do enjoy. All right, guys, so we're back here on the threes. And like I said, I wanted to do this Kobe Bryant video for a very long time. With everything that was going on, I try to stay away from the Kobe Bryant stuff. If you guys are new to the channel, we've uploaded a lot of Kobe Bryant videos the past few years. I really urge you guys to go check out that tribute video that I uploaded. It's really cool. It kind of gives a little bit of a walkthrough through our history with Kobe Bryant. It gives you some laughs and, you know, enjoy having Kobe Bryant. I think it was a really cool video and you guys definitely need to go check it out if you haven't. The link to that will be in the description. But today we are using all of Kobe Bryant's animations guys. The next Kobe Bryant video you will see from me will be when I hit legend and you guys can see in the top left I've been having some good luck with the double rep and that is coming up soon guys. I am getting closer to Elite 3 and I want to start playing this game a little bit more each day. That is the best way to hit legend obviously playing the game but since I have the logo now, I really don't have trouble getting games. So let me know down below in the comment section real quick, guys, if you would like to see like a couple hour, two to three hour Twitch stream every single day, just so I can kind of urge myself to get to legend because that's the, really the only way I'll be able to. So let me know down below in the comment section. But today, like I mentioned, we're using all of Kobe Bryant's animations. To be honest with you, I didn't really have too much trouble with it. The build's a lot of fun to use, obviously, and you can see the kind of stuff that we can do offensively. That's what makes the build fun. This build is a scoring machine. If you guys are new to the channel, like I said, this build is a scoring machine. It's kind of like, you guys might have heard of the BP build if you're on Twitter or if you're around the you know 2K community a lot. It's kind of a BP build as we get a crazy contact dunk right there. But it's just a little bit different. Obviously, I made a shooting guard because in the beginning of the year, I kind of made this sole purpose for Kobe Bryant. So we have this build as a shooting guard. It's a little bit different. It has not as many defensive badges, but it has a lot more finishing and shooting. So we're going to be able to just be an offensive machine. You guys can see right there, we're using Kobe Bryant's fadeaway. And like I mentioned, 
man. The build is a lot of fun. Even though this game is kind of more of a hesitation and, you know, dribble. This is a little bit different than dribbling styles that you're able to use. Like the Steph Curry is one of the size ups that a lot of people use. So it's kind of like a hesitation dribble style kind of game. So using Kobe Bryant's animations were a lot more difficult than I thought. You guys can see a quick little IQ dot right there. He does use Pro 5 Hesitation, which if you guys don't know, is that long one that I might be able to show you guys to here in a couple of the gameplays. But he uses Pro 5 Hezi, which in my opinion is not the greatest, especially on the threes. It's pretty good for the twos and the 1v1 core, but for the threes definitely not but you can see man using all of his animations i think that gameplay to be honest we use every single one of kobe bryant's animations in the game but we got another three gameplay for you guys right here you can see right off the bat i gotta show him i could go into the post stay on your feet man if you're jumping i'm finishing around the rim that's the best part about having so many builds this year guys i know you guys know i have like a million different builds but the best thing about that is I'm able to kind of do everything offensively. I know how the game works. You can see with the Pro 5 has you right there. Pretty nice move between the legs, crossover. Nice Kobe Bryant dunk package right there. But having every single one of the builds in the game, I'm actually able to do everything offensively. And I know you guys enjoy that when I do a lot of different things rather than just like hesitations, run side to side, shoot a three. I know you guys have seen that a million different times. You can see we're using Kobe Bryant's default swing layup package right there. Um, if you guys don't know, I think I've mentioned this before. If you guys don't know the layups, kind of influence your hop jumps in the paint i know a lot of people just do the hop step in the paint this year but look at that man another crazy contact chunk right there but if you guys didn't know that long athlete gives you the best one pretty much every other layup package really doesn't give you the best animation so it kind of made this a little bit more fun i got to use a lot of more of the euro steps instead of just using the hop steps in the paint you can see nice little ball fake right there kind of make myself stop hit the three and to be honest with you, if you guys didn't know, I've done a lot of different NBA player videos where I use their animations. And I've kind of talked about some of the dribbling is really isn't too bad. But the thing that we kind of pay attention to the most is going to be the jump shots. And we've been through a ton of bad jump shots. We've done recently with this build, we've done Devin Booker. We've done Michael Jordan. We've done tons of different ones, guys. And to be honest, Kobe Bryant's, dunk, or Kobe Bryant's jump shot might be one of the cleanest jump shots in the game and i might be using this on this build for a lot longer than i expected but again in the comment section guys let me know down below if you would like to see any other builds if you guys missed my last video we actually made a very rare 99 overall build we made a back to the basket build i compared it to michael jordan a lot of you guys didn't like that down below in the comment section so i know the next day i had to drop the scoring machine build a lot of you guys were like this is more of an mj build and to be honest, it really is, but the thing with Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan, they're amazing defensively, so obviously when I hit Legend, guys, this will be the best build to compare to Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant, no doubt about it. We'll have the defensive baddest to actually be compared to him. We'll have enough finishing. The playmaking obviously will be there. Like I showed you guys in the beginning of the game, I had to kind of switch up some of the badges for when I play twos and threes, but once I hit Legend, I'm going to have way more than enough playmaking to where I'm actually able to use, like, you know, Postman Technician and Dream Shake and other stuff like that. And I'll be able to use like Back Down Punisher and Drop Stepper when I have Legend guys and still be able to use all the other builds or all the other badges that I usually use on this build. And it's going to be so much fun. I can't wait to hit Legend, man. But you guys got to convince me, man. If you guys want to see the Twitch streams, let me know down below in the comment section. A three to four hour stream is what I need to do every single day to be able to hit Legend. You guys can see right here, we don't really have problems playing on the twos court to get games because this logo really does help out a lot so i could easily do it i just want to make sure you guys want to see it because i don't want to just like stream to nobody i guess i don't know i don't really stream on twitch too often but the link to that will be down below in the description guys go follow it up you never know i might throw on a random twitch stream one of these days but we're here on the twos for this last gameplay right here guys i wanted to showcase a little bit more of the post moves i was going through the threes games and i was like man I'm not doing Kobe Bryant justice if I'm just showing me shooting fadeaways and shooting twos and, you know, shooting threes and dunking every single play. Obviously, Kobe Bryant, a super well-rounded player, but I'm not doing him the justice if I'm not going down in the post and hitting him with some fadeaways. You guys know Kobe Bryant, super known. He's probably the most known for his fadeaway, so I know I had to go to the twos, kind of go down here and isolate a little bit in the post, the low post, hit him with hop steps, hit him with fadeaways, you know, baby these little guards because, you know, Kobe Bryant, man, Super well-rounded, 
in all aspects of the game so you know we had to go in the post a little bit you can see not a zero nice little switch defense right here hedging just enough left that guy open i know he wasn't making that shot we're able to get the own our own rebound right here go you know nice little hezzy actually i kind of liked using kobe bryant's animations on the twos like i mentioned before pro 5 hezzy is actually pretty nice but everything else after that for the threes, it's not the best, but twos, man. Pro 5 Hezzy is the way to go. You can see nice little move right here. We're going against the side of the paint. He jumps. Post hop shots in like I showed you guys in the beginning. We're able to green that, man. We're just out here dominating in the low post. They ended up getting the ball back, but look at this, man. This is clamps. That's why I threw on gold clamps. This guy couldn't spin by me right there. We get a lucky bounce right here to actually get the rebound. And I'm going right back into the post, switching my position up a little bit. Hit him with a post spin. He doesn't jump that time, or he jumps a little bit too late. But this build is too good down low, and it's too good inside to be able to stop. If you're like a 6'3", 6'4", guard, and you're trying to stop this 6'5", scoring machine, yeah, man, good luck. Nice fadeaway right there. For some reason, I couldn't green the fadeaway as easily. It's kind of a weird animation with pro or with fade four. I don't know what it is, but we're able to hit it regardless. You can see they're throwing out the double team right here, hitting with a nice shimmy. They're in a bad position. They can't guard it. And, man, we're just dominating, hitting them with literally every single post move. Last one, you can see, man, way too strong fadeaway. Easy game right there, guys. Hopefully, you did enjoy the video, man. If you're new to the channel, make sure you drop a like. But it's been your boy, Dignified, and I'm out. Peace.